While the gaming industry has largely focused on internet connectivity in the past decade, offline single-player games are just as important to have in your library. Since not everyone has access to high-speed internet all the time, today we put together a list of 10 games that can be fully enjoyed with no connection whatsoever. Hey guys, Sam here from Down to Top and we are back again with another list. But before we jump into the video, be sure to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel for more. Now, let's get into it. Starting off with number 10, Huntercraft. This is a Minecraft-style survival shooter game where most of the world's population has turned into zombies and the rest of the people are just trying to survive. You slip into the shoes of one of these survivors and your task is to clear the world of the dead and walking skeletons. In the game, you can explore freely the wide open world and gather resources for your survival. Also, the game features various types of weapons which you can use to kill zombies. You also have to monitor your health, hunger level and feed yourself to survive. In addition, the game also has a day and night mode, which makes it more interesting. So overall, I really like the graphics of the game, but it could do with a better storyline. Number 9. Bunker 21 This is a 3D action-adventure game where you play as a main character who finds himself in a situation that he can't get out of without your help. In the game, you gotta solve different riddles and puzzles and collect different resources to survive. So the game has over four different chapters where your mission is to find a secret laboratory, fight with many different creatures, and figure out what is happening. Overall, this one's a great game and has a great storyline too. Number 8. World War II FPS This is a clone of World War II Battle Combat with a smaller size and lower graphics. In the game, two teams of up to five players can face off on the battlefield, many of them being recreations of historic events. A huge plus for this game is that the controls are completely customizable. When you first start playing the game, you'll only have the classic Team Deathmatch mode unlocked. However, as you play and level up, you'll be able to unlock five more game modes, including Free For All and Capture the Flag, just to name a few. All in all, this one is really good for low-spec mobile gamers. Number 7. Puzzle Adventure <laughs> This is an adventure game where you go on countless quests and investigate many murder cases and fight a series of different evil monsters. In this game, you'll be a detective who investigates creepy, mysterious cases that many people refuse to do before. In order to solve the cases, you'll have to face countless challenges, the first of which is thousands of puzzles that need answers you gotta figure them out. Puzzle Adventure is not just an ordinary game, here you'll encounter a lot of strange things too. The events that take place in the game are not random, but each thing that happens brings secrets that need to be unraveled for the finish. Number 6. BB World Hello! Bye bye! Oh yeah! This is an old game with a new update. The game features a total of 6 different game modes, with the addition of a new competitive Match 3 vs mode where you can battle against others head on and the insanely fun Giant.io mode where you supersize the action. In addition, BB World contains one similar mode just like Fall Guys where players dodge countless obstacles while trying to reach the finish line fast enough to qualify for the next challenge, all of which is done in great detail, so obviously, you're not going to run out of things to do here. Number 5. Quest Hunter This one's an isometric action RPG where your choices drive the story forward. It'll see you finding tons of treasures and secrets, solving puzzles, equipping your character, leveling up your skills, and finishing off enemy bosses. You'll be able to play solo with friends or make it an online party with up to four players. All in all, it's just a fun little adventure RPG that can help you kill up to 15 hours or so. The story is quite repetitive and the combat is simplistic, but it is a good game to relax with while watching a TV show after a day of school or work. Number 4. Scary Doll Welcome home! This looks like fun! Give it to me! 
This is a dark, first-person quest-type game made in a style of classic horror from the developer of Smiling X series. The game tells in great detail a gripping and ghosty story that'll plunge you into an unreal nightmare of reality. Interesting and rather difficult puzzles await you, which will help to reveal a terrible secret to help save a child. To do this, you have to carefully examine a strange house that's located in the middle of a cursed forest. The main character of Scary Doll is a young woman whose daughter has disappeared. Overall, it's a really good horror game. Number 3. Where's Samantha? This is a physics-based puzzle platformer game which follows the adventures of George, a scrap of fabric who travels through to a cloth world to find his beloved, Samantha. So your main job is to help George as he searches for his lost love, Samantha, overcoming puzzles and obstacles in this hand-drawn textile world. The game features 45 levels of physics-based puzzles of varying complexity where you can use weight-splitting techniques to solve them. The graphics are all beautifully hand-drawn and just looks amazing. Number 2. Steel and Flesh 2 This one's a mix of medieval 3D action and strategy where you have the opportunity to visit the Middle Ages in 1212. The game features a vast open world map with 20 large states where you can roam free from one state to another. Although, you have the right to swear allegiance to any country and soon become its king or create your own, or conquering more and more territories. In addition to that, the game offers a wide range of weapons and armies which you can buy by visiting different towns and ports. As your army gets stronger, you can attack other alliances and these battles will take place on a large scale where you can use your unique strategy to defeat your enemies. Overall, the game is pretty awesome and I'd say addictive. Number 1. Combat Master Most of you guys might be surprised to find out that Combat Master is in this video, and I was too when one of the subscribers told me that it's actually an offline game. Yeah, you heard me right, you can actually play this game offline too. Although the UI and gameplay mechanisms of this game look like a competitive multiplayer game, it's actually not. This game is also the fastest FPS game which features outstanding graphics, lots of weapons options and different types of maps. Overall, it's a great game with good controls and thank you so much to the subscriber who suggested it to me. And that's all for today guys. Comment down below which of these games you want to check out first. And as always, if you found the video helpful, then don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and turn on bell notifications because we put out videos every week and you're not going to want to miss any of them. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.